Hello and welcome to another VexCode VR tutorial um, and today we are going to be looking at MyBlocks. So MyBlocks is a, a function of Scratch that allows you to create subroutines of code or functions uh, that can be called from your main program and so when you're doing repetitive things that you may need to do time and time again um, you can build them into a function or a subroutine. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, toolbox for my blocks. So pretty empty to start with. We've just got this one um, box here, make a block. So I'm going to click on that. And for now, I'm just going to create the uh, simplest form of uh, my blocks just to show you how it works. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at these other options uh, in a moment. Um, so I'm going to create a new my block and I can just give it a name by clicking in here. I'm going to call this one square. I'm actually going to create two. Let's create the first one square. And you can see that it creates this box here in the code area, define square. And this is what we call a hat. So it's kind of like the top part of the code, very much like the when start block. So it's the sort of the start of a thread. So I've got that um, where I can attach my code to the bottom. I'm going to make another one now called triangle. And what I'm going to do is just create some code for drawing a square and a triangle to both of these. So uh, let's say we'll put the pen down. And for a square, um, we need to repeat four times. And we will drive forward 200 millimeters and turn right for 90 degrees. And then at the end, put the pen back up again. And actually, let's set a color as well. So we'll do our square in red and we'll do the triangle in a different color. Um, so now I'm going to define the triangle. I'm going to, so what I'm going to use this code to do is draw a box, uh, draw a square, and then I'm going to draw a triangle on the top, a bit like a, a roof. Um, so I'm going to tell it to turn right before I start. You'll see why that's relevant in a moment. Um, and let's say we're going to set our pen color for this one to blue. Put the pen down. And then because it's a triangle, we need to repeat three times, three sides and three corners. And we're going to have it the same length of side as the square, 200 millimeters. Um, I'm going to turn left for 120 degrees for my triangle angles and then at the end raise the pen up so now I've got some code for a triangle some code for a square and in my main program I can then call these using these two blocks here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw three little houses um, on the field so um, let's do repeat three. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is draw the square. Um, then when the square is complete, so the pen will be up at the end of that, so I can drive forward without leaving a line. I'm going to drive forwards um, 200 millimeters, so that will take me up to the top of the square. Uh, and then I'm going to do the triangle on the top. And then when the triangle is finished, I need to turn, make sure I'm facing up the field. So uh, heading of naught degrees. So I'm going to turn to heading naught degrees and then drive forward a bit of space before I draw the next one. So it needs to be a, at least, uh, let's say, if I go 300 millimeters forward before I draw the next one. Um, OK, let's see that in action. So for the playground, I'm going to use uh, the, doesn't really matter which one, I'm just going to use the grid map because that's the one that's opened up here. Um, and let's try and put this code so that we can see everything that's happening as I run the program. Um, so when I run the program, it's going to repeat this three times. When I get to square, it will do everything that's in the square subroutine and then come back and then carry on from where it left off. So let's see that in action. So here's the square. And when it's finished the square, we'll drive forward 200 to get up to here. 
Now we're going to do the triangle. Move up and then do the same again. So by um, creating my blocks for each of these um, functions, I can then call this code whenever I like at any point in my program to draw another square or another triangle. So it makes your code more efficient. Um, now what I want to do is look at some of the other options that came with the uh, with the my blocks when we created them. So um, I'm going to create a um, slightly different program now. Let's just wait for this to finish. And so there we go. That's the uh, the three houses that we asked it to draw using the my blocks. Um, okay, I'm going to close the playground and create a new program and look at some of the other options now that are available to you with my blocks. Um, so I'm going to stick with the same theme, drawing um, shapes, but using a few more parameters that are available to us. So I'm going to create a new block and again I'm going to call it square. Now these are parameters that I can add to the uh, to the my blocks. I think these first two can get passed to it. These are parameters that can be passed to it from the main code. So I can add, add a number or a boolean um, variable to it. This one is just descriptive text to help us remember what we're doing. So what I'm going to do with this my block is add an input that's a number. So I just click on that. Uh, and then I can give this a name. So this is going to be, uh, I'm going to call this mm for millimeters. And I can just leave it like that. But I can also add a label after that, just a descriptive. And I'm going to put sides. So this my block is going to create a square of an unknown amount of millimeters length for each side at the moment. Now let's see how that works. Now when I click OK, same thing as before creates the new hat and it says uh, define square that's what our my block is called then it's got this bit here which is a parameter that will be passed to it from the code and I can drag that out uh, and I can use that in my program in a minute uh, and this and sides that's just a label so that's just there as a, a descriptive reminder of what we were doing now um, let me what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the drivetrain speed to be a little bit quicker so we can do a few very quickly uh, and what I'm going to do is make it draw 10 squares of random length of side uh, so let's go to repeat 10 and what I'm going to do is call my square my block here and you can see it's got this numerical value and that gets passed as millimeters to the my block uh, as mm because that's what I defined it as. Uh, now I'm going to create a, as a random length of side so I'm going to go to operators and choose pick a random number between and I'm going to say well, the smallest square I want to make is let's say 100 millimeters and the biggest square I want to make is 600 millimeter sides. Now I need to draw uh, create the uh, code for actually drawing the square so this is going to be pretty much the same as what I just did um, with one major difference so put the pen down repeat four because it's a four sided shape and I want to drive forward we'll come back to this in a minute turn right 90 degrees and then at the end put the pen up Now the one difference here is that the distance I want it to drive forwards is this random number from here which has been passed to um, the uh, the my block function as the parameter mm millimeter. So I can drag that out, pop it in there. So now this random number is going to get passed and we'll get squares of different sizes. So again, let's open up the playground. You can just use the grid map that's fine we'll start in the bottom corner because we're always turning right so uh, that's actually not a bad thing uh, and now when I run this so it's generated a random number 
and sent it and this is the size square that's going to create then the next loop it's going to do a different size square and a slightly smaller one again and so we'll, get, we'll end up with 10 squares of different sizes just with this small um, amount of code here So this is a really kind of simple example of how to use my blocks um, and um, uh, it really comes into its own when you need to do lots of things lots and lots of times um, and so then you can just have your code once pass different uh, parameters to it for the uh, the parts of the code that do need to change so you know, when you're creating patterns or um, or repetitive shapes but you might need to change lengths or angles or something like that um, then, uh, then this is where MyBlocks becomes really useful. And if you've watched my video on lists and variables, you might like to look at modifying the code that created all of the different shapes uh, to use a MyBlock as well. Um, and so that way you can then pass the parameters from the list to the MyBlock to create all of the different shapes using one single piece of code. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Uh, and check back soon for more VexCode VR tutorials.